Well, I, I do have a list of all the things that I eat for dinner every single night. Well, we'll just name them off. We'll get it cooked up. We'll do it. All right. Well, to start, I want a T-bone steak, medium rare, peppercorn with blue cheese crumbles. Okay. With a side of roasted baby carrots, four baked potatoes, squishy green beans, pickled artichoke hearts, a fruit croissant from Burger King, and a cake with hardly any icing. Don't mind if I do. Blake! I died. <laughs> what are you doing there? I'm playing Gears of War. Gears of War? Yeah. Sounds violent. It is. What are you gonna be cooking tonight? Your special meal? We are having a T-bone steak, medium rare, peppercorn with blue cheese crumbles, with a side of roasted baby carrots, four baked potatoes, squishy green beans, pickled artichoke coats, a fruit croissant, and a cake with hardly any icing on it. Is that all? Yes. <laughs> That's a lot. For all, for all of us. All right, well, it's the first step. Let's do it. Let's do Blinky! Oh, that's an instrument, all right. Yeah. So... What do you... Baked potato you mentioned? Yes, got five right here. I've got to poke them a few times so we can let the air out. Ah, yes. Got three times for each potato. So that's so they don't explode in the oven and cause a catastrophe. Yeah. Let's do four for the big one. That's the oven. 400 degrees. And then we're going to brush them. Let me just show the audience here. 400 degrees. It should be 405 actually, but we got something else that's going to cook. Uh, what's this now? Some oil. Oil. Crisco. Canola oil. Canola. So you're going to paint those all with oil? Yep. What's this do? I forget. <laughs> I it gives them a crispy skin if you like oh. to eat the skin. But it would be tasteless, so we add salt, of course, yeah. too. Salt and oil your potatoes. And that way you can eat the skin, which is very healthy for you. Yeah. And it'll be very crispy skin. How is it healthy for you? What does it do? It has more minerals and nutrients in it, the skin, I guess. No, let's, okay, yeah, put some salt on those bad boys. All right, and this goes in an oven for about an hour to an hour and five minutes, or 45 minutes to an hour. Yep. Internal temperature of the potato should be about 205 degrees, 200, something like that. Okay, so that's our first stage. We'll be back for the next stages. Yep. Next, next roasted baby carrots, correct? Yep. This is an easy one. I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. <clears throat> a little salt. And a little black pepper, freshly ground. Good. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, that's good, my young friend. And this goes in a 400 degree oven, 20. <laughs> that went right in the oil. Okay, so that's uh, that. We put this on a cookie sheet. We're not making many of these. You would make, of course, if you're serving a big family. This is just for Blake and I, so. And then we're gonna put that in the oven. And then the next stage might be preparing the T-bones. Porterhouse. Yes, porterhouse T-bones, which means more filet mignon. Yeah. You can see this is the filet side. This is the New York strip side. Filet mignon, New York strip. All right, bye for now. Some roasted carrots with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. We got our baked potatoes with that salt. Ooh, baby, that skin. And Blake, what are you working on here? Oh, strawberries. Yeah, I'm zesting a lemon. Zesting a lemon, huh? Now, what do you want to get? Though, just the yellow part? That yeah. white would be bitter. Yeah, it'd be bitter. 
So you just get the yellow, and we may get some zest. Also, we're going to put in this thing some schmuckers. Strawberry preserves. And some other things, too, that are good. Okay, Blakey, you're back to your strawberry dessert. And here we have one pound of thickly sliced strawberries. Yep. And hold on, we're going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Yep. So no, you, don't, you can just pour it out. Oh, okay. No, out of this, uh, this part here. Wait, sorry. Oh, right here. See that little nozzle? But here, do it from here so I can see. Alright. So is that good? Oh. A little more. A little more. Okay, that's good. That's good. So that's about one tablespoon of lemon juice. What's that? One third cup of strawberry preserves. Just add it in like this and then take it all out. Whoa, so you got strawberries with a tablespoon of lemon juice. Yep. A third of a cup of strawberry preserves. We got some zest of lemon. The Blakey's. Yep. Mmm, look at that lemon zest. Yes, sir. A little on the side. Looks like grated cheese. <laughs> okay, now add. The two teaspoons of cornstarch. This will thicken it up. Oh, I did not mean to. Yeah, that's okay. Cornstarch can be very messy. And then we're just going to stir all that up, and we're going to fill a pie crust with that stuff. A flat pie crust. Yep. There you go. All right, we'll show you how this comes out once we start putting that pie crust together. Yeah. All righty, till the next segment. Okay, so we got to make our steak. We got some extremely hot pans. This one was even smoking a little bit. Now, you would be wanting to use stainless steel if you have them or cast iron. We have some non-stick. So you can see those are very hot. Has some squishy green beans as part of Blake's request. Yep. And here's the steaks. We brush them. Can I do that? Okay, we already did brush them with a little oil. You get, okay, and then the kosher salt. I'll just show you. You want to do it from high up. Okay. So like, you know, you want to really season these well. That's a lot. Okay, now black pepper, we have it on the uh, full, the biggest grain there is. This is called a peppercorn steak with blue cheese crumbles. A little higher so you get a nice even spread. Get it right there. Okay. okay, it's pretty good. Now we're going to put this on this side, then we're going to season the other side. So let's uh, time out here. Uh, now we have these extremely hot skillets and, uh, and add some oil. We got to add a little more to that one. A little more oil, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's actually pretty good. Let's spread it. Again, I'll spread it gently and watch because if it falls over the edges, we're going to die. We're going to have a major fire. All right, so stand back a little bit. Here's the steak, as you can see. Three. Lots of peppercorn, right? Yeah, three, two. Now, technically, they said always put it down away from you. Okay. I'm going to get that oil underneath. And voila. Oh. Back to high heat. I would hate to be that steak right now. No, I wouldn't want to be it either. I would be boning. Once again, away from you so it doesn't splatter you. There. You want that really high. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, a little salt on this side. A little high up. These nice crispy flakes. This. Okay, and then some pepper. Peppercorn, right? Yep. Watch out your arm. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> Look at that peppercorn do. Yeah. Get that really rolling. Yeah, this is really peppercorn. 
All right, nice sized peppercorns there, buddies. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay, folks, coming along. We're ready for the turn. Let's do this one first over here. See that little blood coming out of the top? Oh, yeah. That's the sign. Look how crispy that is. That's a peppercorn crust. We'll do this one. Oops. All right. Look. Yeah. Look at that, baby. Yeah. The beautiful T-bone. Yeah. Now watch this step. You turn the heat down a little bit, right? Keep following. Sorry. Okay. So now this is butter. Right there. Butter. Right there. This is smashed garlic. Since uh, you don't like a lot of garlic, I'll put two in mine and one in yours. Okay. Right on the butter. All right. Now, if we had thyme leaves fresh, we'd put a little in. But we don't have it, so we're going to put a little pinch of thyme. We need some thyme. Yeah. This is Groundhog Day, by the way. Yeah. We're having a delicious steak dinner. Okay, so when this stuff starts to melt, See how yours is melting over here nicely? Yeah. We simply bathe. Because now you got a garlic butter thyme sauce kind of bet bath for your steak. That looks good. Yeah, it does look good. And here's some butter and some garlic. I'm going to get this right on the top, like a face thing. This frying pan, I'm going to have to go like that, see? Yeah. I did lower the heat, or this butter will burn pretty quick. All right, so that's all we're going to do, and we'll be back. So we didn't make many, as you know. A little pinch of dill weed on these. And we're going to just mix them together there. A little pinch of dill, give a little tang to it. All right, we're done with that. Okay, so these steaks are now resting. That's always good. You want the juices to kind of just stay in there. If you start cutting into it right away, all the juices come out. So these steaks are just going to nicely rest. Baked potatoes are done with a nice crispy skin from the oil and salt. So we're about ready to go. We're going to have to do our checklist on the plate. We'll be. Oh, here's a little trick. Baked potatoes to get that fluffy. Let's drop them. And these are hot as heck, but... This way they'll break break apart inside. And whew, hot. Okay, so then you can fluff them up very nicely. We'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so we talked about the fluffy potato. You know, you drop it, get that stuff nice and uh okay, so here we go. Make a nice slit, cross, cross, and this is hot. There. Oh, look at all that steam. Well, I could have done that a little better, folks. Probably didn't need to do as strong as a push. And maybe I didn't need to make the cross pattern. So let's try that next time. No cross. Let's see, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Okay, the finished product. I'll read from this list. See if I'm right, Blake. T-bone steak, medium rare. We hope so. Peppercorn with blue cheese, crumbles. Roasted baby carrots, baked potato, squishy green beans, marinated artichoke hearts, and uh, our desserts later will be a cake with barely any icing. So Blake has to eat the icing off of that with yeah. his pleasure. Yeah. And we have a the strawberry crostina we're going to make right after dinner. Here's Blake's wonderful plate. Oh, Blake, doesn't that look good? All those blue cheese yeah. crumbles, baked potato, artichokes, squishy beans, baby carrots. Am I missing anything? Nope. You got them all right. It's all checked. That's all, folks. For now, till dessert. Yes. Happy Groundhog Happy Day. Happy Groundhog Day. Mm, now this is good cooking. All right. We ate our massive meal. Blake has a lot of leftovers. I have a little bit of leftovers. This is a 
cake with little icing, which take, is probably true anyway. I'll take it off. Then. Dave's going to take the icing off so it has a little icing. Wait. As you can see, this is a beautiful cake. This is a strawberry cake. I think it's called Funfetti Strawberry. Yep. With little icing. Right there. There you go, little icing. Now let's try it. Ready? Yep. Cut a piece off in the... This cake was like in front of us while we were eating our steak the whole time and Blake kept saying... I cannot wait to eat some. This cake looks mighty delicious. Yep. Mmm, how is that? Wow, amazing. It is, I actually had a little piece that fell off like a crumble and it was amazing. Yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry goodness. That is amazing. Mm -mm. All right, the last dessert, because this strange meal, and we're going to tell you where we got this meal, from uh, this guy named Logan. Super S Mario Logan. S SML. SML. He's a huge YouTuber. Yep. But Mr. Goodman mentioned this meal. Exactly. And I, and I thought this would be a great idea to try. And we did try it. Yeah. We made it reality. Made, turned it in, made it a dream into reality. Yes, we did. Patrick is so overwhelmed. His mouth is wide open. Anyway, we'll be back for our strawberry crostata, which is like basically a croissant with croissant fruit. fruit. Yep. All right, talk to you later. What the? A fruit croissant. A fruit croissant. We yep. picked the strawberry cross, crostini crostata. Yes. Crostata, it's called. Crostata. Here's those strawberries from earlier. And uh, we did the best we could with a pie uh, crust. Can I touch it? This is a refrigerated pie crust. Okay, here we go. That looks good. Maybe this liquid, man. I'm a little worried here. Can I drain some of it? Ooh. We got a catastrophe. <laughs> oh, this is a mess. Uh oh. This is bad. This is bad, folks. Drain it. You should have drained it before you put it in there. Maybe. Well, we're going to just, we'll wipe that up. Yeah. All right. So we're going to pleat this. Pleat. Pleat. That's pleating, folks. This side. Good thing when it cooks, it won't. You won't even be able to tell the difference. Pleat. <laughs> and the last pleat. That's a pleat. Now I guess what we do. We brush it. What's that? With egg wash. Eggy wiggy wash. Get it nice and brown. Ooh, yes. Better seal this. Okay, now, last but not least. What is it? Sugar. Sugar from my mouth. Here we go. Get a higher shot. Hey, look at all that sugar. Look at all that sugar going on that delicious crust. Sugar, sugar, sugar. And this is a lot of sugar, by the way. This is a ton of sugar. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. This is salt. Oh, really? I made a mistake. No, really? No, this is sugar. Sugar, sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. So Blake, I used to make Blake homemade lemonade when he was a very young, small little child, about three or four, barely could talk, but he would always taste the lemonade and go, more sugar, Zep, <laughs> more sugar. All right, so this stay cool. I'm gonna soak up this excess juice. So 400 degree oven, right? Yep. For about 25 to 35 minutes. And we'll be done. We'll be back, folks. See ya. What is it? There's something in our kitchen. We don't know. What is it? It's... It... 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 Lives... lives again. again. 
This is something you'd make on Halloween. This does not look appetizing. This is a Freddy Krueger dessert. I'm being honest, that does not look appetizing. No, it looks delicious. Really? It's super hot. Did you see the bubble? Look at Ooh. the bubble. Get that. It's like a living organism. <laughs> it's it's alive. What do you do if it bubbles? Oh, it's getting... Let's see if it, I want to see it pop again. Now, there's two things that could have gone wrong here. We let the strawberry sit too long in that jam and it just watered yeah. down. Or we didn't seal it properly and it all leaked out. But this is a recipe actually from the Food Network, Jeff Morrow from the kitchen. So Jeff, we're going to... Sue you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to sue you for making our, our dessert turn into a, a bloody nightmare. <laughs> from me some medical student's worst dream. <laughs> Yeah, it's like something you find in a lab that's gone wrong. It's organic. And it's alive. We gotta take a specimen like this back to Earth to be examined and studied. I, I think it's safe to say it's not a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This was found on the planet Mars. Mars. But a second equator. Now that's the thing that scares me. Like, what if some space dudes bring something back that was never found before to Earth and it just wipes out the universe? We found a round thing. We think it's it's it was alive at one point. I don't think it would harm the Earth. I think it would. <laughs> Meanwhile, like two months later, there's like like about five billion of these things that have been respawned from this one. Yeah. And it's just sucking on people's backs like this. <laughs> Something tells me prisoners wouldn't eat this. <laughs> He's making jokes about it. Let's just try. I'm going to try it first. No, no, we got to let this cool because it's molten. Can, can I touch it? Yeah. This, Wait, this is really you know how they say never touch like sugar yeah. like candy apple sugar it'll yeah. give you a third degree burn I dare you to touch that no <laughs> really? it wasn't that hot oh look at that oh can I? oh it's like carous ah that is hot really? that was hot man Here, I'm gonna see if I can hold it for three seconds ready? yeah one, wait one <gasps> I have my finger went through the bread or, uh, the, or, the, or the whatever. Alright, so this, we'll try this actually once it cools. Yes. Bye bye. Bye. Well, it looks well, good. the night finally comes to a close with the second dessert the fruit croissant, which is the strawberry crostata with ice cream and whipped cream. And whipped cream. Yeah, that's tough. Do you hold it? No. Good, good. This is yours. I wonder why it's coming out so like... Strange. Like cottage cheese. <laughs> Maybe we gotta <laughs> shake it. Let's try this one. That's better. Cottage cheese. <laughs> like whipped cream? Yeah, that's good. That's good. So there you have it. That didn't come out that bad. I mean, it's all broken apart. The liquid came out as you saw. But you can always salvage a dessert like this. Oh, yeah. Which is more like a cobbler. <laughs> I'd say this one looks like the most photographic. Well, that is the end of our meal on Groundhog Day. Yeah, happy Groundhog Day, everyone. Yeah, let's not start a tradition of this. It's no. too much work. Yeah. Here's the costata chopped up there's the leftovers yeah all right sip ah. <laughs> okay happy groundhog's day happy groundhog day very nice i'll see you guys later take care guys take care